the hardest word to explain when passion ignites the wood by the fireside. Two hearts. A million words unspoken, thoughts unread, minds entangled, bodies speaking a language both souls need no dictionary to translate. Love. Love. When the million words unspoken and thoughts and body language metamorphosize into the desire to be wrapped in his arms and feel her flesh beneath your craving skin. Love. Longing a valid expression becomes love. Little ocean of various emotion slowly but surely becomes love. Large overdose of vain emptiness. From butterflies floating in my stomach to skipping a heartbeat of the thought of him. Our thoughts turn to holding hands and staring in each other's eyes, totally lost in the gaze of so-called true love. 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 It is what it is. <laughs> Wait, is it what it is that we think that it is when we think what it is is what it is? <laughs> Used to be. Till we confused and infused and diffused it with lust. Lust is a counterfeit, fake, diluted imitation of love. See, love satisfies, lust thirsts, love binds together, lust breaks with every thrust. Love is tender, lust is rough, love is truth, lust twists the truth, love believes, lust deceives, love covers, lust exposes, love sets free, lust holds you captive, love says yes. Lost says, uh, maybe. Love says, stay with me forever. Lost says, see you later. Love says, trust me. Lust says, I'm greedy. Love gives heart. Lust gives your body. Love heals. Lust is a disease. Love conquers all. Lust keeps you bound in the illusion of more. Just one more time. One look becomes one touch. Becomes one feel. Becomes one hit. Becomes you stuck. Becomes you drained. Becomes you empty. Lust is a seed. If you water it, it'll grow. Grow into that giant tree planted deeply in the backyard of your heart. Love is God. Lust is the devil. Choose ye this day whom ye shall serve. Easy. I choose God, most of you might say. Then God steps in wholeheartedly, loving us unconditionally with his son Jesus and wooing us gradually to date him. I love you, Jeremy. I love you too, Lord. But I love him more because he makes me feel good. Then again, I need this job and a little more money, so I love you, Lord. I do. But truth is, I use you. Soon as I get what I need from you, I'm back in his arms because he makes me feel good. I use you when I need you, but I love you most on Sunday, Lord, date day. Then Monday I'm back in his arms because he makes me feel good. Okay, okay, okay. For real now. I love you, Lord. As long as you keep blessing me, we're good. Give me that house, that car, that money. So we pretend to love him when in actual fact we're loving him. We lure God into stimulating us with a blessing and we pretend we want to make love to God using our needs as foreplay. Just when God is ready to penetrate, we pull out so we don't have to go in this Christian thing too deep. Forgetting we turned God on and left him with blue balls. All we do is ask, 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 gimme, 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 till God starts to wonder, does she love me for real or is she just dot, dot, dot? But then again, God's love is unconditional. He loves me regardless. True, but this relationship needs to mature to courtship and dating so he can marry you. You don't become the missus until you earn the ring and the last name. Then God, in spite of your sin, your fault, your mistake, gets down on one knee and pulls out the ring to propose. His proposal beats all others. He sends his son to die for your sin. Um, yeah, heard that like 2,000 years ago. I think I watched it every Easter. Man on a donkey carrying a cross, beaten and bloody and nailed with his hands and feet and dies. All right. Awesome. So back to my request for the new car. Been praying about that for a while now, you know. Then God says, I will. I'll do anything for you, Jeremy. 
Just accept my love. See, what we forget is a man in love will do anything for you. God does not want a relationship with you. He wants marriage. But we want to stay friends with benefits so we can do what we want on the side. I mean, I'm a Christian. I go to church on Sunday. God wants you, every part of you, every day. He wants your heart. Will you say yes? Please say yes. He's chasing after you with his love. He's been chasing the whole time. If you'd stop running for a minute, you would notice he's been there, gently tugging at your heart. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Let me love you. No strings attached. Let me love you. No conditions. Let me love you. I don't care how many sins you committed. Let me love you. I don't care how much money you make. Let me love you. I don't care how broken your heart is. Let me love you. I don't care how many times they told you you would never be nothing. Let me love you. I don't care about the wrinkles and freckles or pimples that line your face. Let me love you. I don't need for you to be lighter or darker skin. Let me love you. I don't need for you to be prettier. Let me love you. I don't need anything, boo. Let me love you. Just let me love you. Give me your heart. Just your heart. Please. Please say yes. So I did. I said yes to God on the floor in my room, accepted his proposal, hugging my knees and rocking back and forth with tears streaming down my face like notes the piano plays. Then I felt it the first time. A warmth so intense as God embraced me the first time. A peace right after that I still can't explain. Love. I finally found it. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Think about it. Thank you.